Hello, my name is Sean, and this is Yorkshire Time Lord on location, Scarborough. Okay, so this is an idea I've had for a while for a series of videos, basically called the Yorkshire Time Lord on location, and basically what it involves is me going to various locations around Scarborough, basically discussing a little bit about its history and why I like it and why it's such a great part of the country. I'm hoping that eventually I could expand um, to visiting other places in the UK or even abroad because I would like to do a video on Bakero in the future or Switzerland or places like that. Um, that's probably going to be you know quite a few years off because it would depend on when I feel comfortable going on holiday again after Covid-19 but it is something that I'd like to do in the future and I think it would be great for my channel but at the moment I'll be focusing purely on Scarborough and the surrounding area and when you take a look at our coastline we have just such a pretty beach and such a pretty sea you know it's a really stunning coastline that we have in Scarborough I don't think there, there is a seaside in the country as pretty as Scarborough and we have such an interesting um, history as well. I mean in the 17th century people used to come here to sample our fresh spring water um, and it was discovered by a guy called Thomasin Fowler in the 17th century that um, our water could cure minor illnesses which you know brought tourists from across the country. Now I don't believe that would be the case now so I definitely don't recommend anybody going down to our seafront to drink our sea water because I think it might make you quite ill nowadays. I definitely wouldn't fancy drinking it myself. I'd probably feel like I'm gonna die if I drank the water because I don't cope well with illness but um, yeah yeah definitely don't go to the seafront and drink our sea water because I wouldn't recommend it on health and safety level uh, but we have so many iconic buildings in this town such as the Scarborough Spa which is a place that I visited you know a few times um, basically it was where my prom was held during secondary and it was a great place for my prom I kind of embarrassed myself by dancing a little and it was really <laughs> embarrassing my attempts at dancing which I'd also attempted before with like school discos and um, like family parties as well and yeah I'm not a good dancer, not a good dancer in the slightest. Put it this way, I make Matt Smith's Drunken Giraffe as the 11th Doctor look good. That's how bad I am. But yeah, yeah Scarborough Spa is great, it's a great place for theatre and dance and also private events such as school poems or exhibitions or things like that um, and I might do a separate video on Scarborough Spa in the future because that's such an interesting building and there's a lot to discuss there um, we also have things like we used to have the Futures Theatre as well and I say used to because it doesn't exist anymore but basically it opened in the year uh, 1921. It opened in 1921 and it closed in on the 6th of January 2014 and then it was later demolished in August 2018 and acts there um, and some of the acts that they used to have at the Futurist included people like the Beatles and Steps and I saw a few shows there myself as well um, including the Chuckle Brothers, I also saw Basil Bush there and I saw The Woman in Black too and The Woman in Black was a really great show it was a little bit scary, you know it did terrify me a bit but it was really good because it was so atmospheric and it really did make you feel you know quite terrified but I have so many fond memories of Futurist Theatre the last thing I saw there was the film Les Miserables because basically they also had a, a, a cinema which they um, used to show films alongside the Hollywood Plaza which is a great cinema as well 
and I also recommend checking out the Hollywood Plaza because the manager is really friendly, he's really really good, he knows me quite well because I've been there quite a few times and he's a really really nice guy so I definitely recommend you check out the Hollywood Plaza if there's any films that you'd like to see there. Um, but yeah, the Futures Theatre, it was, you know, re really great. Um, Les Mis was a great film to see there because it, you know, it had quite, it was quite atmospheric with the, you know, theatrical surroundings. Basically, they screened the films in a the theatre itself. So it felt like you were actually watching a theatrical production of Les Mis, especially when he had an interval halfway through. That was really cool when there was an interval halfway through Les Mis. It really felt like you were at a show. I really liked the way they did that, but yeah, yeah, it's such a shame we don't have a Futures Theatre anymore. They plan to replace it with a attraction called Flamingoland Coast, and basically the idea was that they were going to put like a Aladdin's Wonders Aladdin's Wonder's Cave on the seafront, and basically you'd go inside this cave and it would have like its indoor roller coaster. And now the plants don't surprise me, because when you look at the pyramids for the Sea Life Centre, it really doesn't surprise me that our council are going to have like a cave on the seafront for Flamingoland Coast. It wouldn't have stood out quite as much as the pyramids, because at least it ties in thematically with the seafront. But it may have still looked a bit odd to people visiting the town. But basically those plans fell through anyway, so Flamingoland Coast isn't happening. And now basically where the Futures Theatre was is um, a thing called the Scarborough Wheel, which they put up um, basically every summer. And basically it stands um, 32 metres tall and it plans to give tourists a view over the seafront. Um, so yeah, if, if you want to get a view of Scarborough, it may be worth checking out to see what kind of view you do get. But, yeah, it's just a shame, really, that I can't find anything permanent to replace it with. I would like to see maybe another theatre there, or perhaps Legoland Discovery Centre, which was originally going to open um, where the former Atlantis Water Park site was, but that's not happening now. Um, so, yeah, maybe Legoland Discovery Centre could go there, or maybe a cinema, um, as long as the people at Hollywood Plaza would be allowed to transfer their jobs over to the cinema, replacing the Futures Theatre, if that was to happen. Um, yeah, I mean, hopefully something will happen there eventually, but um, who knows, time will tell. It always does. Um, and another great place to visit in our town is Scarborough Castle. Obviously a hugely iconic castle. And it used to act as a royal fortress during the Middle Ages. Basically, uh, during King Henry II's reign, um, it acted as a royal fortress and also in the 1950s it became a prison. Uh, nowadays it's owned by the English Heritage and has been owned by the English Heritage since 1984. And it's a really, really fascinating place to visit. It has a great history. They give you these audio guides, which you know explain a bit more about the heritage of the castle um, and its time during the Second World War and also during um, Roman times as well. Um, I've been to Scarborough Castle a few times, and you know it's really quite quite impressive how it's managed to stay standing all this time. You know, there's quite a bit of it left, given that it's such an old castle, and yeah. I definitely recommend visiting Scarborough Castle if you're ever in the area because as I say it's a great place to visit, really really interesting and it you know, keeps you entertained for about an hour or two um, whilst you explore the castle and the parts of it that have survived over the years. Anyway, have you visited Scarborough? What do you think about our lovely seaside town? Don't forget to let me know in the comments section below. And if you like what you see, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe!